Welcome back, you beautiful people, to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Expresso Live on SABC3. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. You mm. have chosen to wake up on the right side of bed. Thanks so much for choosing us. Now, for 10 years, the innovative and prominent Fugger Theatre, they've kept multitudes of audiences captivated and entertained. Founded by Eric Abram, it bears the name of the Tony Award-winning South African playwright, Ethel Fugger. And to celebrate 10 years of provocative theatre, his acclaimed <laughs> play, Master Harold, and the boys has been brought back to the stage to absolute rave reviews, I might add. Uh, and joining us to share more are the cast of the play Desmond Dubé, Kyle Luke Brumer, and Sia Mayola. Please give them a very warm express. So welcome! Oh, yeah! Oh, yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the second they walked in to sit down, the energy was just elevated. Elevated. It was elevated. It's an absolute pleasure to have you guys in the studio today. I'm going to start off. You guys are such good liars. <laughs> <laughs> Who's paying you? Are you paying me? <laughs> We're so thrilled to have you guys here. We really are excited. I mean, this is a big thing. What does it feel like, you know, to celebrate 10 years of the Fuga Theatre yeah. by bringing back this iconic play? Well, you know, uh, like... For any artist, mm. uh, um, we should be celebrating the fact that any theatre um, has got a, a, an anniversary, whether it's a one year, by, let alone ten years, mm. you know. Um, but that's exactly it. You know, what, what does theatre mean to South African people? Mm. You know, the kind of stories that the Fugat Theatre have been able to tell uh, in contributing to, to South African society. Mm. You know, mm. so that's... And, and if you think about it, this, this piece, in particular, you know, mm. set in the 1950s. Mm. And now it's 2020 and it's Ooh. still very relevant. It, yes. it, it just yeah. tells you where we are at in terms of our uh, uh, political systems yes. in South Africa, you know. I love um, that you mentioned that yeah. because there's a lot of political undertones that present themselves in this play. How do you think that they sort of offset themselves against what we're seeing as the political climate of today? Kai, this mm. one is for you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, I think, you know, the play is set in 1950, so technically yeah. it was the institutionalization of apartheid. Mm. And we're still feeling today the ramifications of this toxic regime. Mm. And so it's still relevant. As Des says, sometimes we like to look at how far we've gone, but at the same time, have we really gone that far? Yeah. Is it that different? Mm. Take stock. That's absolutely very true, and it's something to just ponder on. Mm. It's very nice to walk into a theatre and to walk out having learned something or mm. to ponder onto something, sure. you know what Inspired. I mean? Sure. Yeah, but see, yeah, it's, the show has been extended. Mm. Yeah. Obviously due to popular demand. Rave reviews. <laughs> Come on. Why do you think this is? I mean, <laughs> who, who are we working with, you know? But yeah. um, no, man, it's... Um, I feel like the the team that's been brought together for this particular production, you know, um, there was a genuine focus on focusing on what's really important, and that's that relationship within the characters, you mm. know. So now, just to, with previous productions, for example, the director made sure that, um, you know, there was that focus and not really on the aesthetics a lot, you know. So it was very stripped down and really focused on what the real tea room looked like, you mm. know? So it wasn't like the big elaborate with the jukebox and everything. Mm. Yeah. So now that focus and, you know, with the actors, you know, the great acting, mm. and also just the text, you know, the text is so rich. The story, you know, yeah. The story. Yeah. So now it just makes you just, makes our job easier, you mm. know? So we just play the beats, you know? Yes. Yeah. Like, you know, the musical score, we yeah. just, you know, play the sheets music. Mm. So, this yeah. story really does have such a colorful variety of layers, and I think anyone mm. who sees it will walk away uh, out of the theater so, so inspired, just yeah. through the ability for you guys to convey the message. But for anyone who's missed this run, okay, <laughs> and it sells itself, because it's had rave reviews, it, just, it does mm. well on its own, but why should anyone watching right now come out and watch the show? Well, Tavi, so I, I think it's a very interesting, I mean, talking about the story, mm. It's still very relevant. Mm. I mean, as we speak now, there is a woman of color somewhere mm. <laughs> in a suburb um, with a white baby on their back, mm. as we speak now. Yeah. Mm. And that child growing up to become a young man or a young woman, mm. then realizing that, no, I shouldn't have been on that back, mm. talks about the kind of systems that, you know, um, um, uh, th th that we still have in our, in our society. And, and it's about change. Yeah. I think, I think, I like to say people must come and watch this play mm. and actually be able to identify themselves. Mm. Yeah. You know, because mm. that's what we do. It's yeah. a mirror. We, we're a mirror. Absolutely. You know, yeah. You, you come and watch and you go, ooh, I am, I'm either, um, mm. you know, Harold mm. or I'm Sam or 
I'm Willie. Mm. Mm. Three flawed men mm. who are just trying to get by. Yeah. And, and um, are sort of destroyed by a system, mm. you know. Yeah. And these are the very difficult conversations that we don't want to have in 2020 sure. because, I mean, it's democracy now. Sure. We've moved on. We've moved past all of those It's struggles. democracy now. Yes, yeah, yeah. so then exactly. we have, have we really moved on? Yeah. That's what you want to start thinking yeah. about. Absolutely. Uh, and guys. that's exactly what you're saying. I think yeah. it's the conversations. Mm. Mm. There's nothing that gets to me as an artist. Yeah. Then, and even within other artists, um, amongst other artists, yeah. where, where you hear the conversations. The conversations are just not... People are shying away from the not conversations. Heavy, no, we, we run away. Um, um, I was saying to Kai, um, uh, so even as an artist, you, you come across other artists who go, uh, perhaps maybe white artists who go, hey, you know, when I was a light DA, I used to speak Z perfect Zulu. Mm. And then you go, and then what happened? You realize, <laughs> yeah, what's exactly. you you realize that you were white. You know? oh. <laughs> so, so these are the conversations. We got to have these yeah. conversations. Otherwise, we're, we're, you know, we're just preparing ourselves yeah. for doomsday. Mm. Well, know? the key word is provocative, and yeah. that's what's yeah. coming across here. This is fantastic. The show has been <laughs> extended. The run has been extended to the 21st of March. It is Harold and the boys. You've got to check it out. A stellar cast, as you can see. This speaks for itself. But, of course, do get your tickets at the few .com. They are available now. Go check this show out. I'm definitely Thank you, getting guys. a ticket, actually. <laughs> <laughs>